After a fast 5-0 start behind a high-powered new offense, the Auburn Tigers have suddenly lost two games in a row, and they find themselves sputtering on offense. It has the whole team looking for answers, answers that need to come in a hurry. Well, we got to go to work, and we got to correct uh, the mistakes. I mean, obviously, in the fourth quarter, we made way too many mistakes. We had a chance, um, you know, to at least in field goal range, and then we, we took ourselves out. And so that was uh, really discouraging, but we're a work in progress. I mean, this is our uh, you know, first year here, and we've... Uh, we're going through some growing pains, and we've got to suck it up, and we've got to eliminate those uh, the penalties. We've got to eliminate some mistakes. We made numerous mistakes uh, against a good defense. We just got to stay positive. You know, we can't get down ourselves. Um, we can be a good team, you know, we sh and we show flashes of that, and we just have to keep working hard. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to keep believing in ourselves. Um, we can't We can't. We can't go into a game thinking we can't win. Um, you know, we have to get. Uh, we have to be confident again. You know, going out of LSU, we have to you know, have another great week of practice and just believe in ourselves and believe in these coaches. And we can do it. Some people probably could get in their head saying that we're going back to last year. Office not doing anything, but defense. You got to look at it on both sides of the ball. We both not doing anything. We both got to step up our game. So, um, it's, it, I don't think it was frustrating. I think it's just thinking. You know, we had slow starts. So after losing back-to-back -back games, the Tigers' road doesn't get any easier. They head down to Baton Rouge next weekend to take on LSU. That's a story from the Plains. Chris Pallone, NBC 13 HD Sports.